So what will actually happen if I dead short a fully charged lithium battery? Um, I know what happens with a lead acid because I've actually had that misfortune once and I'll tell you it was no fun. Uh, molten lead from the sparks and the electrolyte boiled instantly. Um, so it wasn't a good experience and it can happen to anyone anytime. Complacency is very dangerous when you're working with batteries. They do hold a lot of power. Now, <clears throat> for this test, I've constructed a little device just for fun. And I've connected a 300 amp ANL fuse and a mega fuse, a 400 amp mega fuse. Now, if the BMS on this battery does its job, these battery, these fuses won't uh, blow. Um, it should cut the power instantaneously. You'll see on some of the overkill solar app settings that your battery will show an over voltage protection setting. And it's triggered at a certain voltage or amps. And in an ideal world, you want the BMS to reset itself after a short circuit event and you can go ahead and use your battery again. Other cases, your BMS will get fried. The point is, it's there to protect your cells. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to record what happens to the BMS as well. I'm going to set a camera up and we'll have a good look at the BMS and see what actually happens, if anything. Um, I've taken all the usual safety precautions. I've got my Lithex extinguisher over here. I've got my safety glasses. My running shoes are on and the door's open <laughs> in case I've got to run for it. I doubt that'll happen, but again, we'll, we'll see what, what occurs. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and connect this up and uh, we'll then short this battery and be interesting to see what actually occurs. Just a quick check on voltage. So we've got 13.31. Going across these terminals. Let's see what happens. So, drum roll. <laughs> Well, that was uneventful. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. So it's still trying to deliver power. It welded itself on. So on the DC home app for this particular battery, it's given us an over current warning. The battery is discharging a high current. I do plan on doing a full review of this battery later. Um, the pros and cons of it. Um, you would have seen if you watched the first videos on this about the problems I had when I was doing capacity tests where the BMS was allowing over discharge of the cells. Um, the battery would go into protection mode. Just go back and watch that video. Um, the app I dislike. I don't like the app at all. It's trying to make this battery obviously proprietary to Renogy because you can only use their app to read the BMS. Um, but on the safety front, we've just tested it. I've, I've tried to short it several times. Um, and it survived that. So the BMS in that regard, in the safety side, it's it's bulletproof. It's good. The unfortunate thing is you can't put this battery into series. You would need to put in a different BMS if you wanted to do that. But yeah, I will do a full review on this battery in the very near future. Um, so you can look out for that. But if you've got one of these, just a recap. Don't let them go below 10 volts, whatever you do. Use a shunt 
just to keep an eye on the voltage. Don't rely too much on the app either. But yeah, thanks for watching this particular video. I hope you found it entertaining and maybe puts your mind at rest when it comes to the lithium batteries. Don't replicate anything I do. I do this so you don't have to. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.